Hello everybody and welcome back to Beta Days. I'm Beanin and today we are going to be working on creating a paper factory uh, for the world because I don't know it's something that is useful. I tend to need a lot of it and once we get trading up we'll need you know more paper and we need paper for books for our library and stuff like that. So before we get into today's video please remember to leave a like, leave a comment, and subscribe. I post videos every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday with streams and other videos thrown in between. If you didn't catch last episode, we went ahead and continued work on our mansion uh, that is becoming quite the behemoth now. And if you weren't available for the live stream we did on Friday evening, uh, right after this episode um, aired, we went ahead and just did some, you know, basic work. Uh, collected some resources, kind of organized things around here and filled this in. Uh, and yeah, just made sure we had, you know, resources for the next time we want to build anything. But I am all built out. And so today we will actually be taking a break from that and making a paper mill factory, as I said earlier. Now, as weird as, uh, <laughs> as, weird as it sounds, I'm thinking of putting the paper mill, f uh, or the, pa yeah, paper mill, up here i was gonna put it right there but i don't know maybe something about having like you know uh industry going up the hill right here would kind of kind of make sense to me because i've got you know the processing plant here with the super smelter and so if i have a paper factory up here then eventually we can you know build something nicer in that area so I don't have to look at, you know, everything, uh, all the industrial side right here. Plus, I mean, it kind of does make sense. The paper factory comes up here um, down towards the mine. And, you know, you got all the resources nearby because it's going to need coal in air quotes. Um, so we'll go ahead and do that. And I'll start clearing out a lot for this. Now, of course, it's going to be a fully functional auto farm um, for sugarcane. And I'm going to build that first and then build the shell around it. So I might it might be two episodes it might be one i don't know we'll see how long it takes me um hopefully i can get the actual paper farm um completed in one episode if if i have time then i'll f uh make sure to get going on the actual like factory itself well i wish i had a staples button because that was really easy it wasn't even a full minecraft uh sun like a, a day <laughs> i don't know what to explain because a full minecraft day is you know day and night but this one this one was pretty easy now luckily i've got uh this area kind of laid out i may have to do some terracing um not entirely sure though but you know, I do want it a little bit higher on this side. Now, uh, this side is going to be a little tricky, but I think I can I can work something out. Um, yeah, but this is going to be where the, you know, actual auto farm goes. And then I'm going to have, you know, a building around there. And then we'll have like some stuff up here uh, just to, you know, add to the looks of it. But yeah uh oh well actually well i mean it's kind of hard to see now but that flat like area doesn't really take too much away from the hill which is good because i didn't want it to look like i just cut into the side of a mountain which i did but you know i don't want the build to look like that now the design i will be using for this paper farm uh is going to be i believe i craft mcs but I'm not a hundred percent sure. I'll have to, you know, watch a new tutorial, or I'll have to watch a tutorial on it. Uh, whoa, my gosh! I'll have to watch a tutorial on it soon. So, um, I'm gonna go check that out. Make sure I have all the required materials, and we'll get building on this automatic sugarcane farm. Right. So I've gotten the materials collected. Aside from uh, these things, they are not essential. I'm just gonna create a quick separation of the actual materials and the crap that I've got from building this. And I've dug out the little area. This is an iCraft MC design. So that is the original creator of this design. Very good uh, tutorial channel. I'll leave a link in the description. Um, yeah. 
just just a, just a fun plug there now according to his tutorial we're going to grab these uh items right here and we're going to start placing these like this i think oh nope don't want the oh what the heck there we go and then we'll have okay cool uh, ah, okay well you know that's fine but these are basically going to be the collection system for the farm uh as he explains which is good but i'm gonna have to <laughs> continue on uh in the tutorial while i'm building this oh what eight by 22 right huh interesting i'm gonna have to check this out okay so i did some more research aka continued watching the tutorial and this is actually how it's supposed to be so instead of just having these rails all like this these turns are going to be at the far end which means i want to have these u shapes down here like this and then up oh, and i guess yeah we'll have to deal with that for now um and then this will go all the way i think until one block away from this so like that and then this one will go until there's two blocks away so like that and then turn around and then come back and connect up with this right here okay cool and then we'll start you know uh adding in uh some powered rails we're gonna do groups of three i think it's one two three four and then here we'll just oh there we go boom boom and then i think he said to do groups of three like this okay look at that and then we'll do this all across the board so we actually won't run out of rails which is good so then you got this i don't know why i dug these out <laughs> there we go there's that and then right here don't know why you silk touch on that one but whatever there's that and there we go okay so i finally got this working and then i was like wait why is it taking materials out of my or putting deep slate into here and every time it comes down in here uh the way i have it set up right now it's it's thinking that it's got to pick this up so i'm just gonna break that real quick and then move this over here which is actually pretty funny honestly um okay so i guess that's yeah that we'll just flip that <laughs> but yeah it just kept pulling stuff away um hopefully it's not pulling anything more Let's see when it comes back it shouldn't have an issue there we go okay didn't have anything didn't drop it off so yes so sorry that it's raining right now i can't really control the minecraft weather well i can but that's kind of cheating um this is what the collection system will look like so it comes out here and let's say I have uh, bread on the track, or I'm harvesting bread. So it comes out here, looks for materials like that, and then it goes over here, drops it off, and then puts in this chest. So this will just be able to, I'll, I'll be able to leave it running. Um, now onto the actual growing section of the farm. Oh, look at that, it's finally sunny. Whoa, never noticed that before. Thank you, Minecraft sweet <laughs> um so yes yeah, so we will have a collection room down here and then we'll have the farm room down here so i'm glad i'm building this beforehand because i was originally gonna build the structure and then build the farm inside of it but now this this uh this is the smart way to do things all right now we've got the section uh for where we're going to be growing our bamboo and sugar cane. I just decided to do sand. Actually, hold on, I should test something. <laughs> I need to check before I get too invested and make sure bamboo... Okay, good. I was gonna say, I need to make sure bamboo can grow on here, but well, that's good. Um, so now we're building out the... Well, sir. We're building out the uh, 
growing area so this is just gonna look like anywhere there's rails we can uh, oh. should probably not have that running but that's okay actually yeah that's fine oh there we go but yeah anywhere there's rails will be our growing area uh which makes sense and now i am stuck down here um poo <laughs> Did you take my sand? No, okay. And then go up here. There we go. Oh, don't want to fall in. I'm kind of curious to see, you know, how... I mean, I know how well this farm does. I've used it before in one of my other worlds, but I'm kind of curious to see, like, how much sugar cane I'll actually get. You can uh adapt this design to be a pumpkin farm too oh wait what do i have you know what whatever i was gonna say you can ad adapt this uh farm to be a pumpkin farm as well but i, I already have way too many pumpkins <laughs> now i could use melons 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 are good melons melons are useful <laughs> now for the water reservoir we are going to use these and just fill it in like this and we're gonna hydrate the slabs um and hopefully uh, okay <laughs> okay i think i need more than you know what give me that I, I need like one spot to there we go okay i need to take these torches out of my left hand that's what is going wrong but this is going to be like our water bed so it's almost kind of like a little little hydroponics deal <laughs> you know gr uh growing your plants where you know that's it's it's just in water well no that's tech okay i might have the definition of hydroponics messed up um but basically these are going to be our water beds uh which is going to be annoying because i think we're going to have to hydrate each of these slabs <sighs> okay well i'm gonna go ahead and do that <laughs> Right, now that that task is done, the next is to just go across these slabs and place our building blocks like this. Um, covering it so then, you know, nothing falls into the water. And then after that, we're going to put the... Uh, what is it? The pistons on top. Yes, there we go. Um, so that'll be good. <laughs> now, I don't know if this farm needs access to sunlight. Uh... I'd assume it doesn't because you can grow sugar crane, uh, sugar cane underground. So I don't think that would be an issue. Give me these, and then all of these we're just going to place like this. And this way, um, well, I guess I don't really need sand on those ends. But this way, you know, when it falls, since the collection system is going directly under it. We won't lose any uh, sugar cane from the farm or bamboo. I think I might alternate between sugar cane and bamboo. Um, oh no, yeah, we'll see. Now, why do I have four pistons left? That's interesting. Huh. Oh, I might need it for later. But there we go. Next up, we're going to start planting and then setting up the uh what's it called uh observer the observer area <laughs> there we go almost forgot one step real quick uh give me that nope okay i guess i had that gotta put uh blocks on top of this so that oh no this is right so that we can place redstone on these um yeah i don't know it's kind of interesting how redstone works in Minecraft. Like I know, I know like the, I know about it, be, or I know how it kind of, wow, that was hard to muster out. But I'm trying to say, I know like the idea and everything of redstone, um, just from like, you know, my background with like computers and such, but the, I don't know, it's still just kind of new. Cause it's more, it's not as much like, I know more software, but the redstone is just hardware um, boiled down, <laughs> which is cool. But I mean, you've seen my series. We're like, what, uh, 71 episodes in now. And this is the first redstone build I've made. Yeah. 
something like that, and then I think we just. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know. Hmm. Do we need repeaters? I guess not. Oh. Let's see, there's that, and then put you over here. Now, how are these gonna connect? Is the real question. Gosh, I do hope. Okay, we should have enough. All right, and then, yeah. All right, so now that we've got that ready, it is time to plant, uh, which I am excited about. <laughs> uh, let's see. Let's see, we can use sugar cane. Um, because each side has 20 slots. Uh, so I can make this, you know what? I guess I can make the in yeah, I can do what uh, iCraft MC did and make the inside of this uh, sugar cane and then the outside bamboo. Just because you know this is a lot of sugar cane. <laughs> now if I uh, but then nah, you know what? I'll I'll make it all sugar cane. Well, nah, I'll do bamboo. <laughs> Sorry, I'm so wishy washy right now. Um Here's this. Now, the thing is, is it will be a little less efficient for the bamboo. Um, just because it's only going to, I'm going to limit it to three tall. Because I don't need these uh, things getting super tall on me. Uh, so, that is something that um, I need to consider. But with this glass, it should be... Yeah, you can see, look at that, it's already growing. Um, but with this glass, it should be, I think, three tall right here. Do I? Hmm. Do, I don't even, I don't know if I need that one. Uh, no, I think, I don't think I do. So let's put that here. And this one will be three tall like this. And then I can cap it off at the top. Now, yeah. I was going to say now how the daylight sensors work. I'm not too sure, but it's okay. And then luckily I have silk touch. There we go. So we'll cap this out. And then when we hook up the daylight sensor, it should, uh, you know, pick up that like, <laughs> we're, we're not going to, um, or it should pick up, you know, and start. I don't know what I'm talking about right now, honestly. Uh, it should pick up, you know, when the day changes and whatnot. There we go. God, that was way too hard for me. All right, let's see. Just continue placing this down. Thank you. All right, and now that this is all placed, I should be able to have this here. Connect these here. Is that connected? Yep. And then... My gosh that was loud so this goes off every time the light level changes well every time a daylight sensor ticks um so we should actually start seeing results within the factory now Ooh, am i picking it up no maybe okay well okay so we got 18 bamboo out of that which is good and let's just do that and then do that oh look at that there's more <laughs> And then down here, we can have sugar cane. Um, sweet. So that shows you that it's working. Uh, I guess now it's just the aesthetic part of it. <laughs> oh. Uh-oh. I was like, I'm stuck. Hmm. Now what blocks for... Oh. <laughs> what blocks for aesthetics do I have? I could make this look like a... Uh, I'm probably going to have to dig out some more and kind of plan a little bit more for how this is going to look. But I can start with, uh, ha well, the, yeah, <laughs> gosh, uh, slow day. Oh, wow. That thing goes fast. Oops. I picked it up. Didn't mean to pick it up now. Yeah. To avoid that. I hope it doesn't. Oh, no, no. I was going to say, I hope it doesn't, like, mess things up for me, but 
I don't think it should. Um, now the question of the uh, surrounding area is got to be answered as in what is my building going to look like? <laughs> um, let's see. Let's go get some which I have is my base block. Wow, the bamboo goes really fast. We're going to have a lot of that. Uh, I might have to change that out, honestly. Uh, let's see what block I want this to have at the base. You know what? We'll make it look... I need more than that. You know, I'll just take all of this. I was going to say, we can make it look super... We can make it look industrial by having a lot of gray and black. And kind of make it look like a big uh, engine slash machine thing. Because the only section that actually needs daylight is the, uh, what's it, what's it called? Um, the daylight sensor, duh. So with the daylight sensor, we can build a big smokestack and, you know, have, uh, that be like the center central part of our factory. And then we can build like a kind of like a little version, a different version of that. But I think I want it to be a little more refined than the other, but I'm glad we've got this right here. Now let's just close this up and then, yeah, we'll, I'm going to, I'm going to go ahead and start like kind of making an area right here. Like this, I don't need these anymore. Um, yeah, you know, like make a make a collection area and stuff around it. So let me do that and then we'll continue on uh, with the project. No, I hear you. Oh, oh OK. There's just one of you. Where's the rest of you? Oh, gosh, I hope you're not terrorizing my village. Get out of here. Oh. Hello. Villager party? Huh. Okay. Interesting. Well, I have gone ahead and, you know, made some little changes. I have a platform now for this to sit on. And honestly, I also included just a little platform back here because, um, well, I'm thinking sometime down the line not right now but i'm gonna want you know to make a uh like to make a how do i say um uh to make a bamboo farm like an automatic bamboo farm that will you know be taller and allow for more bamboo because i think there is value in having it but i'm just not sure about you know uh doing it right now just because i don't know i mean i just want like the bare necessities right now um and so with that i'll just need <laughs> this little this little farm should do the trick honestly all right so i've got this whole thing kind of laid out and marked out i'm gonna have to figure out what to do with the collection area right now i just got a little thing going down into here that we can just grab this from um but i'm gonna have to you know do do something about that uh here i'm just gonna i guess really just fill out right around this lower area because uh i mean well i'm gonna have to build a retaining wall anyway i might as well just build it up higher <laughs> up here i might do uh I might slowly push it back one on here, but I'm not sure because, I mean, at least right here, I might do it. When you look at up here, like we need, we'll, we'll need a lot of dirt <laughs> up there, but I'm going to fill this in and then we're going to get to the actual building part. All right. So I did a lot of building right here. I built this up and then built up these stone bricks. Ow. <laughs> um, and then I also, well, let me just run up here real quick, laid out the frame for our factory. So hopefully, you know, it'll start to come together and, you know, it doesn't have to be super tall. I got to figure out what to do with that, um, but it doesn't have to be super tall. I just need it, you know, to encapsulate um, 
this uh, whole thing. And I'm thinking that I'm going to put like a ring around this and just have it like a block or two up so that, you know, we can have like a little bit of variation in the factory and then we can put our smoke stacks on top. And I'm thinking of doing three decently sized ones uh, or three like smallish ones. I don't know. But now I got to, you know, fill in this all the cobblestone here and hopefully you know we can get to a good stopping point for it today because i tell you i am this has been recording all day so far so it's it's a it's a big build but i'm having fun with it now seeing it that this is a factory i'm going to kind of stick with that theme and use my trusty uh wall dividers but i'm also going to rely on the kind of grayness um that you get with the stone and cobblestone combo um because i mean it is it's a it's a factory at the end of the day it's a paper mill and you know those aren't the most uh they're not built to look good they're built to be functional and that's exactly what i'm doing uh with this one i think i i think i'll add like variation and difference uh into it just like i said i would with that one and you know <laughs> 40 episodes later we're still here but i will add variation and um block differences into the build but i want to get the main structure done before i focus on like uh details and you know stuff like that because well to be fair i mean look how much like this is this is a lot of stuff and i mean <laughs> look at this like i'm gonna have to like almost what no nah, eh, well yeah but i'm gonna have to like yeah i don't know <laughs> I, I i don't know where i was going with that but it'll be it'll be a good a good final product and i think that um the squareness of everything will make it look pretty good and that really wasn't much substance at all but you know it's a sunday long weekend whatever not a long weekend yet all right well we are finally uh almost done i don't think we're gonna get to um completely finish today but i did manage to get some more um uh how do you say things done here <laughs> so i've also uh just been looking around here and kind of like finding places I can add like little smokestacks so like if I come here you know I can add you know something like right there and then I can also go get some other uh, materials so that it looks like you know there's like uh, rigging's and stuff around so like I could do something like this where you know we have just like things going down here <laughs> you can't mix match slabs no you can't um basically just kind of having things like to add to it now i know these are all like the same color but i'll go ahead and you know add different oh, <laughs> things um to this but i don't i don't know how that looks right now but the majority of this is finished um i think i need to add like one or two more smokestacks uh let's see eh, something like that i don't know we'll see all right so after many hours today this is finally complete i know it doesn't look like a lot but it actually was uh pretty it was pretty resource intensive i ended up using all of my stone i had on this build um and stone that came from here so it was pretty big is a little a little intense but you know i'm glad i did it because now we have uh a functioning farm uh for sugarcane and uh, half finished warehouse but uh yeah so let's take a quick look at it um you know we don't have much i added a few details up top uh oh yeah i'm on peaceful sorry just from building that's fine though um, I added a few details up on top and, you know, ended up deciding that it would be a good idea to 
you know, change up the block color up there and like kind of make it look like there's like uh, rigging and vents around it and like piping. Um, just because it kind of looks cool, you know? And I think, I think we did a good and okay job at this, you know? It's, oh, I got to get that black or that uh, dark stone or deep slate or whatever it is. But yeah, you look at it and it looks pretty cool, you know? Nothing too crazy, but I, I like how it turned out. And, you know, we'll have to get a, you know, a, be oh, a better uh, angle on it for the thumbnail, obviously. But for now, I think that's a great stopping point. Um, it's already been working tenfold, mainly just because tenfold. I don't think that's the right uh, use of that there, but it's already been working great. And now we just got to get a good thumbnail for it. I think I want to go from this angle because that one will make it look good. <laughs> and then let's see. I don't want to go too tall, but we'll see how it looks just going up here. And yeah, I know my shadows kind of blocking it and that building down there is blocking it a little oh but that is nice that is nice Woo. all right let's zoom in and let's just kind of there you go screenshot there oh and then i forgot how zoomed in i was but i think that is the perfect stopping point for today so let's go ahead and wrap everything up for uh today and i well yeah let's just wrap it up but anyway guys thank you all for watching today's episode i hope you enjoyed a little break from building our mansion and building a uh paper a paper mill paper refinery something like that <laughs> um and i hope you enjoyed today's episode overall uh please remember to leave a like leave a comment and subscribe if you're new i post videos every monday wednesday and friday with random videos and streams throughout the week until next time, this has been Back to Debate Days. I'm Beanin. Peace.